Thank you, Christine. During this pandemic, we've talked about anti-Semitic, anti-Asian, and other hateful behaviors. In the Jewish community, leaders have pointed the finger at police for allegedly treating them differently in regards to social distancing rules. We've discussed irritability caused by the shutdown reaching the boiling point, in some cases resulting in domestic violence. There have even been memes aimed at the elderly, the most vulnerable victims of COVID-19. So how do we turn the hate into something more positive? An important topic for clinical psychologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, and as he has every night, he joins me now. Good to see you, Jeff. Good to see you, Bill. So, you know, let's talk about it. Hate, uh, hate is destructive for the person hating, as many people will say. Yes, that's right. You don't want to be a hater, as we say in Brooklyn, right? Uh, and we know that this is something that is very natural to us as people. We develop that us versus them mentality, which leads to prejudice and discrimination. And a lot of that comes from general stress, fear of the unknown, immense change, confusion, dwindling resources, all of those things that we're experiencing right now as part of uh, COVID-19. Where's the line between hate and constructive criticism, because I think some of these Jewish leaders have a great point that they've been unfairly targeted. Well, there is a very, very thin, thin line, but we have to understand more than anything else uh, that uh, prejudice and discrimination is uh, absolutely, uh, a, these are real phenomena. How do you stop it? Where do you turn it to a positive? Well, I think we all need to take responsibility for it, first and foremost. It's not, again, let's not go from that us you know, uh, versus them mentality. So understanding that any of us can engage in this behavior. Uh, and so we need to be on guard for it so it doesn't happen uh, unconsciously. Secondly, when something happens, take a breath, respond and do it with respect. Develop empathy as I talked about. And every day develop some sort of kindness muscle by performing at least one uh, random act of kindness. These are the things that put us in a situation to be able to show more love and respect uh, instead of just pointing fingers and being angry and having hate towards others. It's not going to get us through COVID-19. We understand now that we have to come together as a society. Doc, you know, you've always got great sense. You're very wise on this. The only thing I'll take objection to is random. I think they can be specific acts of kindness. We know who's hurting and we know who we can help. Thanks, Doc. I won't disagree with you on that one, Bill. Thanks, Doc. Great to see you. Great to see you.